President Maitripala Sirisena recently sought the opinion of the Supreme Court over the possibility of holding provincial council elections through a reference application in a backdrop where the parliament has not passed the report on the delimitation of electorates. The application was taken up by the Supreme Court today before a five-member judge bench comprising of Chief Justice Jayanta Jayasurya, Justices Bunik Aluihare, Sisera Diabru, Prasanna Jayavardhana and Vijit Malalgoda. Attorney representing Venerable Ali Gunawan Sathera, President's Counsel Sanjeeva Jayavardhana pointed out that the delimitation report was defeated by 139 votes in Parliament and a five-member parliamentary committee was appointed led by Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe to re-examine the delimitation report and they are yet to compile a report. Jawardhan also noted that the President has sought opinion of the Supreme Court to see if it is possible to hold provincial council elections neglecting these parliamentary proceedings. Meanwhile, President's Counsel Ali Sabri, representing Petitioner Professor Sunanda Madhumabandara, emphasised that it's solely the duty of the Parliament to decide on the delimitation as well as holding elections. He pointed out that the Supreme Court does not have the mandate to intervene in the process and handing the power of holding election to the President is prejudicial. Meanwhile, Attorney at Law Kalyananda Tiranagam alleged that the President has sought the opinion of the Supreme Court to deliberately postpone elections. Backing these arguments, however, President's Council Nisam Kariyappar, appearing on behalf of leader of the Sri Lanka Muslim Congress, Rauf Hakim, said that the President does not have the mandate to seek the opinion of the Supreme Court in this regard. Attorney at law Suren Fernando, representing General Secretary of the United National Party, Akhil Viraj Kariwasam, said it is difficult to make a decision outside the mandate of the Parliament when the House is working on the issue. Petitioner TNAMP M.A. Sumandiran also was of the view that the President does not have the mandate to call an election when the proceedings of the Delimitation Committee is not complete. In the meantime, expressing a contradicting view from the rest, President's Council MP Dr. Vijay Dasa Rajapaksha argued that since the delimitation process is not yet complete, the people's franchise is being violated. He further pointed out that the provincial council elections can be held under the old system. In the meantime, additional Solicitor General Indika Demuni de Silva, appearing on behalf of the Attorney General, said that he has submitted written submissions before the Supreme Court. Accordingly, the five-member judge bench announced that they will direct their discrete conclusion to the President in the near future.